the second lot of warthogs we've seen today. The first lot ran away. These guys are much more confiding. Looks like a young sow. I wish you could hear them, I don't think, you know, with the wind blowing, I don't think you're going to be able to hear them, but they're making this amazing crunching sound as they pull the roots of these plants out of the ground. So, if you've watched the other animals grazing, you've watched the zebra grazing and the impala, and you can see, and the buffalo especially, they all eat a different piece of the grass plant. Longest would be the buffalo. They wrap their tongues around the grass and then pull it out, which always makes my, you know, that horrible feeling you get in kind of just, uh, just underneath yourself when uh, the, it's the feeling of scraping nails across a, across blackboards, etc., etc., and the thought of wrapping my tongue around grass and pulling back gives me that oh, like a horrible feeling. Anyway, they eat the longest grass, and then we get to the zebra, which eats slightly shorter grass than them, and then, say, the wildebeest or the impala will eat even shorter grass than that, and then you get down to these fellows, the warthogs, and you can see the snout snuffling along at ground level and actually pulling the roots of the grass plant out and eating those. And while that may seem destructive, um, well, I suppose it probably is if you happen to be the individual grass plant, remember that everything out here, from the warthog to the elephant to the flea beetle to the black monkey thorn and the combretum tree here and every grass species has evolved to create, to fill all the niches that are available here. And so that warthog is playing a very crucial role, probably clearing space for other plants to grow, killing off the dead stuff and the moribund plants. But you can see right there at ground level, that cartilaginous snout. It's a lovely word, don't you think, Vian? Cartilaginous. I wasn't listening. No, of course, sorry. I forgot. Vian is not listening to me today. Uh, cartilaginous, of course, means <laughs> A big flat disc in front of the nose that is made of cartilage that you can see there it's using to dig. See, he is actually listening to me. He's just pretending not to. And again, you can see those bottom tusks there, so sharp. And you do not want to be set upon by those things. Difficult to describe a warthog as elegant, I must say, but she's a relatively elegant female, I suppose. She's got very impressive whiskers. We had a warthog sow yesterday with equally impressive whiskers. That's probably her offspring there, as opposed to her consort. It's a young male, and I suspect he's just a little bit much, well, he's much too young to be her consort. I think he's just living with her because he's probably her offspring from a previous litter. And he will eventually have to go off on his own, probably when she has her next litter. And there he goes into the shade. 